Hello and welcome to today's edition of Frightfully Forgotten. And today we are going to be finishing up our Universal Monster Mania. <laughs> and we're going to rate the Universal Monsters. We're going to have a rating system, one out of five, of four categories. And the monster with the best rating is going to win. So let's start with Dracula, All 1931. Right. Scariness. How scary is Dracula? One to five, say a two. Yeah, so would I. Uh, he's he's not that scary if you're comparing him to, to the rest. others. He's more seductive and hypnotizing. Mm -hmm. He's not scary. Yeah, it's more alluring. The next category is effects. So makeup effects. Mm -hmm. We gave him a one. Yeah, because there just isn't that much to him. If any. <laughs> yeah. The third uh, category. How murderous slash menacing is Dracula. We gave him a three. And a lot of that is because he needs to kill to survive. But he's not that menacing as where he goes out wanting to destroy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just needs to do it just to live. The last category that we have is legacy. What is the legacy of the universal monster Dracula? And we give him a five out of five. Can yeah. you get any more iconic than the Bela Lugosi Dracula. Yeah. Not really. Dracula gets 11 out of 20. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster. How scary did we rate him? We rated him out of five a two. To look at him, I guess, at a glance, he'd be pretty frightening. But once you get to know the <laughs> monster, he wants to be loved, he wants to be understood. And he only gets mad or kills when he's poked. Next is effects. We gave him a 4 out of 5 for effects. Because yeah. Jack Pierce, basically he created an icon. Classic. Yeah, and poor Boris Karloff paid for that for the rest of his life. How murderous or menacing is Frankenstein's monster? We gave him a 2 for this because we had already sort of touched on it, but he doesn't set out to kill. Yeah. He just kind of wanders the countryside looking for love. Yeah. He just wants exception. He's really not that bad of a guy. Yeah. So he gets two. Lastly is legacy. Well, like Dracula, the legacy of the Boris Karloff Frankenstein will have to be a five because he is the iconic Frankenstein. Mm -hmm. when you think of Frankenstein, you think of that Frankenstein. Yeah, and only that Frankenstein. All yeah. the others just coffee house crap. Well, out of 20, Frankenstein gets a 13 out of 20. The Mummy. Again, Boris Karloff. Yep. The Mummy. Scariness. How scary is The Mummy? Gave him a 3. Scarier than both Frankenstein and Dracula. It's this kind of dead thing after you. Zombie type thing who's kind of got no mind and just wants to wreak havoc. The effects. We gave the mummy a three. When we were talking about this, all I could think about was the bandages. Yeah. <laughs> Which, if that was the case, well, eh, maybe a one or a two. Yeah. But we forgot his face. Yeah. And it's the, actually really Very good. cool. <laughs> yeah. It, it looks like something that's been withered up and dried out over years. It's a great effect. <laughs> exactly. And it's a scary effect. Exactly. And how murderous and menacing is the mummy? Well, we gave the mummy a three. This mindless thing, right? Yeah. This creature or whatever that's kind of roaming around. Yeah, there's no reasoning behind. You can't reason with this <laughs> or you talk him down or anything, right? The legacy. The mummy's oh. legacy is not nearly as much as Frankenstein or Dracula. We gave him a two. Mm -hmm. And the only reason he got a two and not a one is because he got some sequels. You know, there was the Brendan Fraser mummy movies. The Tom Cruise one just yeah. came out. Which leaves the mummy with a score of... 11 out of 20. So he's tied with Dracula and Frankenstein's in the lead. <laughs> the Invisible Man. <laughs> yeah. Or as Justin wrote on the board, The Invisible Wang. <laughs> I'm glad you noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> so how scary is the Invisible Man? Well, we gave him a three. Not scary looking. Because you can't see you him. Because you can't see him. But the fact <laughs> that you can't see him is scary. That's the scary part. That's yeah. the scary part. And then we also took into account how he looks in the bandages and the goggles. That's kind of a scary sight. Next is the effects. Even though you can't see him, we gave him a five. Yeah. Because it is the most cutting edge stuff you'll see 
ever in yeah. a movie yeah. for this time period. <laughs> yeah. Him unraveling the bandages and the mirror and, and nothing, nothing there. there. <laughs> That's awesome. It's, for its time, it's completely mind blasting. So how murderous or menacing is the Invisible Man? For this one, we gave him a five again because he's setting out to rule the world. Yeah. And really, that's about as far as you can go. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And he's killing people in mass quantities. He yeah. derails a whole train. And he has a master plan. Sadly, for Legacy, Invisible Man only gets a one because nobody really ever talks about the Invisible Man in the same breath as they do Dracula, Frankenstein, Mummy, mm -hmm. Wolfman, or a Creature from the Black Lagoon. So, so that leaves him with a score of... 14 out of 20. So Invisible Man's in the lead. <laughs> so that leads us to the next one, The Wolfman. Played by Lon Chaney Jr. Yeah. Soon, <laughs> the moon will be full again. <laughs> now I'll become a wolf again. Don't you understand? Lame Chaney yeah. Jr. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> so for the Wolfman, played by Lame Cheney Jr., <laughs> at his scariness, we give the Wolfman a four because yeah. a wolf coming after you is frightening. Yeah, he's pretty scary. And he's strong. Yeah, and fast. <laughs> yeah, and he kills anything. And he'll tear you to complete ribbons. <laughs> <laughs> the effects. Gave the Wolfman a three out of five for effects. Very, very good. And comparing him to Frankenstein and Creature from the Black Lagoon, which we haven't mentioned yet, he kind of falls just below those. The face is great, but the rest isn't. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. How murderous and menacing is he? How menacing is he? <laughs> menacing? Well, he's quite murderous and menacing, actually. He menaces the whole town. Yeah. And he kills whatever. For that, he gets a four. The legacy. What is the legacy of the Wolfman? We gave the Wolfman a three. Not quite as famous as Frankenstein and Dracula. Still very well known. You know <laughs> what, if you say Wolfman, you know what the Wolfman is. Yeah. You, you kind of picture even still to a little bit the Lon Chaney Jr. And he had a lot of sequels, which leaves the Wolfman with a score of 14 out of 20. So he's tied with the Invisible Man. Mm, Last on our list is the Creature from the Black Lagoon. Da, da, da. <laughs> so how scary is the creature from the Black Lagoon? Pretty fucking scary. Mm. Uh, we gave him a 4 out of 5. Water creatures are scary, you know? Yeah. Unknown world down exactly, there. Exactly, yeah. You don't know what's down there. And yeah. then this, like, man creature yeah. thing coming yeah. from there. It's like, yeah. holy shit. Effects? We had to give a uh, creature from the Black Lagoon 4. From head to toe, it's effective. It, he, it looks great. Yeah. And then you add the fact they had to shoot that underwater. And the guy had like a little tank. Yeah. Built into the back where the little fin goes. Super cutting edge. <laughs> yeah. And very effective too. Yeah. How murderous and menacing is the creature from the Black Lagoon? Well, we gave him a four, <laughs> just like the Wolfman, because he's the yeah. same as the Wolfman. He just has no concept of right or wrong. Yep. He's just out to defend. His territory. Right. But then, like you're saying in the sequels, right? He goes into the city and yeah, all that. Yeah, wreaks havoc <laughs> on uh, not just the, the lagoon, but wherever he is. He <laughs> kills and maims and whatever's in his way, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the legacy for the creature from the Black Lagoon, we had to give him a two. It did spawn sequels. Yeah, they're unknown, and then it sort of tapered off and ended there. Yeah. And the, the creature really never has come back. The episode of the X-Files with that sewer creature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's probably the closest thing to the creature from the Black Lagoon kind of coming back in the modern times. And that is terrifying. Yeah. That gave me fucking nightmares. Where he pukes out that worm yeah. in the tub. <laughs> yeah. Like, the fluke monster. Yeah. That's what he is. Which leaves a creature from the Black Lagoon at 14 out of 20. So we have a three-way tie. <laughs> So, hmm, how are we going to break this tie? We thought, well, what happens if you put these three guys no. in a Mortal Kombat style <laughs> pit fight? Who's going to come out on top? As long as the Wolfman could catch the Invisible Man, he'd be then gone. he'd win. Yeah. The it Invisible Man is smarter. But the Wolfman is quicker. Eventually, he'll get the Invisible Man. Just, <laughs> yeah. You can just do this, Yeah. and eventually you'll kill him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Well, that's... <laughs> 
as, as long as he could find them somehow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the wolfman, as a wolf, he'd probably have better hearing. Yeah. So and scent. Yeah, and better scent. Yeah. So it's like the invisible man would have to just stay. Yeah. Just still. And then eventually you have to take a big shit. <laughs> <laughs> the shit is drawers and wolfman. <laughs> ah! He'll smell that out. And... <laughs> Creature from the Black Lagoon, I think, is just as strong as the Wolfman, but he's too slow. Yeah, Wolfman's got him on that, yeah. for sure. So, yeah, I think the Wolfman tops the list. Yeah. If you were to put them all in a fight, he'd probably win. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, Dracula wouldn't be able to do anything. He'd just run away. Yeah, he'd just turn into <laughs> a bat and take <laughs> off. Yeah, exactly. And never come back. <laughs> just, the Wolfman all grabs the bat. Yeah, like it, like at the end of Abbott Costello, meet Frankenstein, just grab the bat and fall off that ledge or whatever. <laughs> yeah, grabs the bat, bat. <laughs> grabs the bat, and just <laughs> pulls the wings off and then just eats it. <laughs> that that'd be the end of Dracula. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah, it's funny actually. Like when you think about it. Like, this big legacy of Dracula just ends up in Wolfman's <laughs> gut. <laughs> and, like, the, the bat, him turning into a bat, is fucking useless. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell good is a bat? It doesn't do anything. So there's our universal monster face-off, and Wolfman comes up on top. Wolfman does have nards! I'm sure some of you may have various different opinions, so let us know what you guys think. Who would come up on top on your list of universal monsters? Yeah, it'd be interesting to see what, what everybody chooses out of out of those categories. Yeah. And just to see what the reasoning is behind them, maybe. Yeah. Until next time, and until Halloween, keep drinking.